Texas Instruments uh, has been one of the oldest uh, uh, MNCs with the oldest presence in India and we actually a lot of IIT Madras uh, students uh, including yourself uh, you know are part of TI um, I wanted to get your perspective on the skills right so maybe two related questions so first of all what are the what kind of skills uh, do you look for when you hire uh, graduates and you know how does the curriculum of this program compare with those uh, skills requirement sure yeah so first uh, it's an honor to be part of the launch of the bachelor of science in electronic systems program uh, it's it's a very uh, timely uh, thing for the country and what we need to do for building the ecosystem so ta has been there in bangalore from 1985 so in the last uh, 35 plus years uh, we have grown organically in hiring uh, engineers to work on r and d and product engineering in the semiconductor industry so typically when we hire people uh, we look for folks uh, with uh, expertise in electronic system design starting from hardware domains like analog digital then we look for embedded uh, system software firmware test and validation uh, applications engineers right and we have been uh, growing organically by hiring engineers with these skill set specifically what do we look for we are looking for engineers who have a strong understanding of fundamentals good problem solving skills and application oriented and a system thought process and people who are passionate in electronic systems and uh, so when i look at the curriculum that this is offering right uh, it is an extremely well thought out curriculum especially touching upon all the aspects that are required for a person to be successful as an electronic uh, system developer in fact the nice thing about this curriculum is uh, so much thought has gone into it including getting feedback from the industry and in fact we had a panel of experts at ti look at the course curriculum that uh, has been come up with and we had discussions with professor andrew professor anirudhan professor bobby george and professor nitin and during the interaction it became very clear that every aspect of employability what kind of skill set these folks need to get and how it can be tailored to this hybrid program where it is an online along with the lab component uh, doing with kids as well as coming to uh, iit madras and working on it has been well thought through so what i feel is uh, people who graduate from this program if they have the right passion for electronic system design and they have learned what the course offers and leverage the high class faculty the top notch faculty from iit madras who offer this course they would be a very good fit for the industry and it is going to cater to the needs across industries not just ti one of the aspects of this program is scalability and flexibility as well so um, so for example we are looking at you know self paced learning so i wanted to uh, get your thoughts on how you see this benefiting people in uh, ti and similar industries yes uh, so that's a very nice aspect of this program so there are uh, i see this applicable to two sets of people right so there could be folks who are part of a regular uh, bachelor's <laughs> program in one of the universities in india who might benefit from additionally joining this electronic system design and getting a different flavor of it which really makes it easier for them to hit the ground running uh, running when they uh, join the industry as as kumar pointed out right one of the challenges we face is finally when we hire the engineers when they come on board yes they do have the basic understanding but for them to translate it to what the industry needs when we do r&d when we come up with a complete system as opposed to a, a course based thing right there is a transition people have to go through and the way this curriculum is set up i see that automatically being taken as part of it so that is one value add i see the second thing is uh, if you look at the electronic system uh, industry there are people who join the industry with a diploma and uh, over uh, time right they develop the skill sets of what is required in the industry but at some point of time as technicians they do hit a pl plateau right they are not able to grow beyond that and they are not able to make a bigger impact now a uh, part time portion of this course which enables them to join here get a bachelor's degree does two things one is they are able to improve their skill set upskill their expertise and they can grow in their career 
make a bigger impact on system engineering than what they are able to do. It also opens up a path for them to take uh, higher courses, like they can do a master's and specialize in one of the domains. So that way it's, it's a very nice program and uh, it bridges a gap that exists now for people who have done a diploma, but beyond a point are unable to grow. The part-time nature of it makes it very easy, right? Because once they are working, it's very hard for them to completely uh, resign from the job and join a full-time program and dedicate four years. Now, the flexibility offered by this course enables them to continue working, learning from the industry, earning a livelihood while upskilling. So it's, it's a nice balance.